Yes. Ori, yay, yay, yo. Peace, love, oneness, divine vitality on the energy grids. Baby, stop telling people your business. Stop telling beautiful souls your plans. Hmm? Instead of telling a beautiful soul what your plans are, and this is deep. Come on, y'all, sit down. Sit down. Take a seat. Round with me if you shall. Hmm? Instead of it being a family member or a friend, you, you're just so excited to tell somebody about what you're going to manifest. Let it be the paper. Hmm? The divinest thing you could ever do is not tell anybody your business. If you're going to tell somebody, let it be the paper. Mm, mm, mm. And ones at this frequency of manifesting at a consistent rate and a stand it at this just one level right here alone. You ain't got to do nothing else. When you're literally in your manifestation mode, you got your plan set. You've got everything organized. You know what you want to do, how you want to do it. Put it on paper. Finalize it. Stamp it. Boom. However you may want to enhance it, you can leave it in the binder on the shelf. Or burn it. Write a copy. That's the divineness of it. Write a copy so that when you see it happen, you know you burned it. So some beautiful souls, if you're burning it, it's going straight to the ethers. And everything, you know, can be mental to certain beautiful souls that are at that frequency. So that's why I'm specifically saying, write a copy. Oh, mm. it's going to shock you in how powerful you truly are. This one universal law, this is law. This is law, y'all, for real. And interesting thing enough how beautiful souls won't speak of it as if it's a secret. There are no secrets. Only secrets there are, baby, is unhealed. Say it again, we'll rewind it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ain't no secrets. The butterfly. There's no secrets. The only secrets there are is unhealed trauma unhealed situations hmm? oh yeah oh yeah so this is deep stop stop talking about your plans your manifestations and y'all know me i give it real and raw real and raw who wants to be around these low vibrational energies when you're talking about your manifestations or how to manifest or how to stay in a frequency of just being. Staying in a frequency of just being, filling your soul throughout the whole day. Listening to your soul, being in a frequency of peace, being still enough to be at peace, to know you Gucci. Everything is coming easily and effortlessly. You have to understand the power of peace and filling your soul. Because, baby, a thought pattern come in, boom, there goes something ready to suck some energy out of it. We got to understand that, too, beautiful souls. I done put that on several clips when I got the download. You take your children to these schools that you can see. <laughs> you can see these. Oh, yeah. I'm going to drop uh, my man off at elementary. I'm going to drop Jasmine. I'm going to drop her off at school real quick. You have to understand this at another level of consciousness when we're talking about the schools that are in play that are not seen by the naked eye. You want to say it like that. When we're talking about inner terrestrials, outer terrestrials, Inner Earth Terrestrials, Outer Earth Terrestrials, Supreme Being Terrestrials, 
other density terrestrials. Come on now, y'all. I tapped into that frequency alone when I was crystal picking. Found a brown crystal. It's a earth star chakra crystal called petrified wood, and they call it a terrestrial food. Soon as I touched this terrestrial food crystal, baby, I said, oh, extraterrestrials, inner terrestrial, inner earth terrestrials, out earth terrestrials. Mm. Just staying in that one frequency of peace, being open to infinite possibilities when I tell you, baby, throw your superstitions away. That can clog the mind. Step on your mom, step on a crack, you break your mama's back. Drop a blunt, somebody cheating. Little small things like this, yo. These superstitions will clog your intuition. I ain't here for superstitions. The universe, the universe can only do whatever we say. So with that being said, all superstitions should be huh, toss it back, cause eyes ain't in the back of your head. They steadfast and forward. So it, boom, leave it back there and keep moving. Mm, mm, mm. And that's deep too. When we're talking about inner terrestrials, outer terrestrials, supreme being terrestrials, just being in that frequency of peace. Some of breathe and sustain life. Ashe, when we're talking about being in a frequency of peace, you're being open to infinite possibilities. And while you're being open to infinite possibilities, baby, Mm, 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 mm. You'll get ones that talk about it. The euphoria or the metamorphosis of it. Oh, yeah. We're more powerful than they're going to say. And yet would call it a secret. Because these are things they aren't healing. We got to look at it like this, guys. Come on, my melanated beings. Even when we're talking about 666, our culture should not be looking at it as no mark of the beast. When it's six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons, which equals a divine melanated being. Huh? Oh, shift instantly. Hmm? Come on now, y'all. We are here to stay on a, a surface level of knowledge. Oh, that too. Pay attention to the signs. This is one divine uh, sign I was paying attention to. I kept getting a lot of people saying, you know, the secrets and, and your credits and how to do your credit. When I tell y'all I wrote notes on the uh, a tax removal act and all, when you put all the specific components in that uh, comment box, because it's my credit and I need it now. <laughs> And they raise it. They raise it. It's another thing. Your social security card. It say authorized signature. So when you sign it and then you stamp that it's authorized by you, it's no longer a social security card. So who you who you playing with? Because this got my name in the numbers that was assigned to me. Though when we're talking about the British, it's more deeper. That's why it's they say knowledge is power. Hmm? There's only binding to certain knowledge if you allow it. So yes, for ones that want to know uh, more about certain things that I'm talking about, because to get spirit led to talk about these things, hit the comments up below if y'all want to know how to raise your credit, because we're going to be doing that here. Uh, these next few months, we're going to be uh, helping beautiful souls raise their credit, because that's another thing. It's binding and putting our people in shackles because they don't know that they can flex. Flex your credit. Raise it up. It's stuff on there that's been on there for years. Get up off of there. Like I said, it's my credit and I need it now. Deuces. Run that back. Run all that back. Watch it go up. Mm -hmm. 
it's going to start raising because they're going to start removing. going to go up 4 points, 6 points, 9 points. I've seen some even go up 9 points because stuff does not belong on there. They know this. <laughs> this is part of the matrix simulation when we're talking about keeping beautiful souls credit at a low rate. It's my birthright to have a nice credit uh, credit score. Hmm. Switch your frequency, shift you a little bit, huh? Walk like you got a credit score that's six hundred. My credit score is six hundred. Shift yourself. Come on now, y'all. Let's we talking about it. Let's talk about it. Oh, we gonna uh stay on this topic at hand though with. No, not telling beautiful souls everything that you're doing. And it's so free to talk about it when you're a free spirit. I get that. I get that. But the thing about this right here, though, it slows down your manifestations and may stagnate them. Especially when you're telling someone about your manifestations, then they go and say, well, you need to do this. That's the beginning of the spell work on your manifestations. Hmm? Though, when you tell no one and that one channel and signal that you have given is so strong and then you write it on paper. Hmm? Ship it. Mm. Keep your copy and ship it. Burn it. Ship it off. Whoever finna do it got me dancing already. <laughs> the power is law. And the law of manifesting. That's what we gonna call this one. See that butterfly? The law of manifesting. Stop telling beautiful souls y'all business. It ain't, it ain't their business to know your business. That's why the entity of gossip is running around the energy grids like crazy. Because everybody talking about everybody else's business, but not wanting to manifest their own. It's a poison in the, the culture. Many cultures right now. It's, it's a poison in the all. For ones that aren't aware. And aren't aware of how it's playing with their intuition, because that's not intuition when you're realming with the entity of gossip. That's judgment. Now, don't get it twisted. One's at a level of intuition, literally, misusing their intuition with a little bit of judgment. Because they got a little piece of my, let me, let me let you feel something real quick. There's still karma in that. Oh. I'm a witness. I'm a witness for the simple fact that nothing needs to be said. Watch your throat chakra open up some more. Hmm? Nothing needs to be said at all. And the power of a divine throat chakra, divine throat chakras, front, back, side to side, because you have four throat chakra centers. So when we're talking about it at this frequency, knowing when to speak and knowing when not to, all this plays grave importance. But y'all yeah, already know, it is a divine honor. Oh, y'all. Mm. And y'all know I'm gonna keep saying, how about these earth angels shutting down these false prophet portals? Huh? <laughs> Baby. Mm. Oh, it came in hard. It's okay. You keep the tarot cards. You keep them so you can read them for yourself. Burn the ones you did readings on with other beautiful souls. Shut the portals down. Them the ones you left open. That your ancestors coming through in 10. Yep, y'all thinking this. some of these entities, they've moved on. It's your ancestors whooping your butt now. Mm -hmm. Food for thought. It's your ancestors. That's another thing, baby. Ori, yeah, yeah, yo. Express your beauty. Be yourself. 
be the high priestess, high priest that you know you're supposed to be at your authentic frequency. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Mm. And see, be observant of how your light may irritate others or how mirroring may come become a projection that one ditches out and yet won't be able to handle. Mm, mm, mm. Have to be aware of these things. That's a deep uh, message right there for a priestess and uh, a priest. Ashe. But this right here, it's about manifesting. You want to know why you keep saying the same thing that you are so passionate about doing and going about, but who are you telling? Who are you specifically talking to about what you're going to do, what you're going to manifest, what you're going to create? All this plays grave importance in our manifestations. With that being said, mm, mm, mm. we talked about gossip. We know how poisonous it is. It's so poisonous, it because it's deadly. It's very deadly. Come on now, y'all. Look at some of our elders. And they last of years, and yet still roaming with the frequencies of gossip. Gossip will have your body aching because you you too busy, you talking. Have you, you know, did a little stretch today to work your ankles, work your thigh muscles, move a little bit, drink some tea, some herbal tea, massage the mind and the body. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so all this plays grave importance on what you're doing. That'd that be the biggest punishment and why the ancestors be tearing your butt up. What have you done for your soul today that would be 10 times powerful than gossip? Because if you at a frequency of keep feeding your soul, you're going to be aware of the ent entity every time it comes around. You're not going to speak. Or you, you gonna be ready to chop? Well, to be honest with you, it has nothing to do with us. So can we not talk about somebody else's business? It's just me and you on the phone. I don't want to talk about Lucas. I don't want to talk about TT. It's just the power in that. I'm doing this video. <laughs> Walking in the alley, the neighbor's dog, he catches a fit if I do not speak to him. But that's, it's the power. Hi. Hi. Hey, baby. <laughs> and at a, and at a feminine frequency, you know, because, <laughs> hey, what's, hi, hey, hey there, fella, hey. <laughs> you got to understand that too, balancing both of them. Knowing how to speak in your masculine, in your feminine, but balancing both of them. Oh, what? Mm, mm, mm. How in that? Yeah. I just wanted to talk about this, y'all, because it's, it's like it's becoming hard for certain beautiful souls to let go. But yet... It's only hard to let things go because you're still speaking. Play. You're still talking. Don't say nothing. That's why they say actions speak louder than words. Don't say nothing. Your silence is magic. And let them. So I'm doing this video. I'm showing my beautiful face, baby. Mm, let them see you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure. Frequencies of light. Balance, light, and dark. Some have just jumped out the portal of darkness and in and, and, and so much power and dark. No, let it be light too. Quit playing with us. And there's so many levels of consciousness when we're talking about light. You know, like, mm, mm, mm. And when we're talking about sun energy and this sun portal right here. This sun 
portal right here. So many levels of consciousness. And he tan, y'all, uh, for ones to really believe and understand that frequency, it's an occult frequency. Literally, occults created this frequency of what the sun is, when yet it's a portal. They know it's a portal. <laughs> like I said, y'all, ain't no secrets. Just unhealed trauma. And y'all already know. Let's get it. Peace, love, oneness, divine vitality on the energy grids. Oneness.